You get left if you wasn't moving right, man. In a vet, do the dash to the right. Hi, guys, and welcome to a brand new video. It's Erpy here, and today I bring you out with a brand new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make that you saw in the intro. It's a really good and cool effect, it's really easy to do. The only plugin you will have to have for this tutorial is the universe plugins as usual i'll leave a link to them in the description as well as a tutorial on how to download them totally for free but now let's get right into the video so the first step you need to do is to sync up the clip with the music so find a beat where you want the kill to happen i want it to happen here so press on the music Press M on your keyboard, which will, which will put a marker. Then you press on the clip, find the shot of impact. The shot of impact is where the red dots appear in your crosser. Press M on that too. Then if you have this magnet tool on, it should be really easy for you just slip it in. I need to make the clip a little bit shorter. And as you see, it is synced now. So what we will do now is uh, lock the audio press on the clip we will make some timer mapping right now press ctrl r go to the free markers press on this add speed point go to the fast frame you pull up your shotgun before you shoot so add marker there right in the middle put another uh, speed point then you make the faster to 50% and this to 200. And what you need to do now is drag this one so the other one is lined up with the marker. So as you see, this is lined up with the marker right now. And it should look like this. And it should be still be synced and good. So now we can close this and we are gonna start making the mask. So how to do that is find again the first frame you pull up the shotgun. Press Ctrl B, that will split this. Then you go to the shot of impact, which is here. Uh, split it here. Ctrl B. Then you press on the clip you have between these two. Hold Alt and drag it up. That will make a copy uh, right above. Then you can press on the clip under it. Press D, that will be disabled so you won't see. Double click the clip that's above, go to the first frame of the clip, go to the color tab, go to this tab, press on this thing right here, so it's a red line around it, press correct, correct one, zoom in a bit with the scroll wheel on the shotgun, remember that you press keyframe correct one before you start doing anything. So, and then you basically, I won't do it as accurate because this is a tutorial. And excuse me if you hear something in the background. They are working in our kitchen right now, so it will sound a bit. But as you see, I have made, don't make as many, that many like dots because that will just, it will be harder to work. When you have keyframe with this, you just go with the arrow keys one step to the right you don't need to keyframe anything more and just yeah play around with the dots so it's uh, falling along uh, you can slow down the video if you want right now but i will do it faster and speed it up so you don't have to see everything but just yeah mask it with other words If you make something bad, you can just uh, press Ctrl Z and it will go to its latest state. So do that if you do something wrong. So hi guys, now I'm basically done, as you see I have masked it so everything looks good. It's not the most accurate because this is a tutorial, but usually it takes like 15 minutes, but I did this on like 2 minutes. But yeah, what you need to do now is uh, go here, 
If you don't see this window up here, you need to press on these nodes up here. You need to press on it and this will appear. Then you need to right click and press on add alpha output and you just drag it like this and you will see it fully black. And that means that you have done everything fully correctly. And if we go to the edit tab again, we should see just the weapon. But if we probably press on the clip below this, we should see it come back. Yeah, and we can't see it anymore. So what we will do now is we'll press on the clip above, right click on it, and press new compound clip. Just press create. Then what you need to do is to press open effect. For this you will need to have the universe plugin, so, so search up uni dot ecto and it should pop up as you see right here and just drag it onto the weapon and as we see we have this really cool glow now we'll uh, show you some settings you can change so press on the clip go to video then you go to fx and you should see this unique though right here you can change your like what color it should be you can make it manually just change the arm with this but i usually take the twinkie if you're watching a lot of my models, you see that they really like this color and this effect. I usually take down the duration a bit, like have it on maybe on five, and size maybe. Like that looks good. This is a tutorial, as I said. But as you see, it looks really good. But what we need to do right now to see that it pops out a little bit more is press on the clip that is under, drag this down to. 50 on the clip that's down, not that clip that is above. Drag down this that to 50. Press on the clip that's before these two. So go press on it. Keyframe on the last frame of this. Then you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Keyframe it. And you press on this pile so you come to the last and drag it down to 50. 50. And we should see this pretty smooth transition. But it will be really laggy because this effect is really hard to process. But as you see, we have a really good. Now, when we are done with the sort of build up to the kill effect, we're gonna do the kill effect after the kill. So, how to do that is go to effects, drag an adjustment clip above the clip. Press on the adjustment clip, go to open effects, search up edge. It, it's uh, in, built in in the DaVinci Resolve settings uh, preset, so just it should pop up edge edge right here. Drag it on the adjustment clip. It looks really crazy, but we will fix that right now. Go to the effects tab, change the mode to grayscale, press edge mask, make this to uh, uh, yellow or the color that you made on this effect. Here is sort of orange and yellow, but I will choose yellow. If you just choose blue, make it blue right here. But what you will do right now is press on the keyframe to denoise, and drag it up to max, and keyframe the brightness on the first frame of the effect. Go 15 frames to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 12, 13, 14, 15, drag both, keyframe both of them, drag them both to zero, and the effect should disappear. Then what you will do is search up light rays, you should pop up, drag it on the adjustment clip too, press on the right clip, and then you keyframe friendly shot on the first frame of the effect, make the color to secondary color of your weapon effect. So as I said mine was orange and yellow, maybe for you it's uh, pink and purple, then you do this to purple. But I will do it to orange because that was my secondary. So here this looks good. Keyframe the red little shot as I said. Go 10 uh, frames to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keyframe it, drag it all the way to a thousand and it looks pretty fire as you see it will be really laggy but 
it looks really fire so hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like drop a sub drop a tutorial idea if you want to get featured in a video or something uh, i'll always be happy to help and and we are so near at the time of the recording of the video to 150 subs like i think it's just like five subs away so please everyone drop a sub it really means a lot to me and yeah i appreciate this word so much for all the monitors and everything but bye guys